Hi, I'm Doja Cat, and I'm going to be playing Smasher Pass with some of my most iconic outfits. I mean, look at it. Hard, hard, aggressive pass. Well, it's funny because I'm kind of channeling that a little bit today with this stole, but that was all me. All of those looks that I've done myself have just been like, yeah, God help us all. Smash, except for my leg, I'll pass on that. It's very ghostly. People were really coming at me for my my fluorescent white leg. This is my first carpet look. We wanted to do like something that was very cat-like, so we put some feather teasers and whatnot. But yeah, it's a big, big smash. <clears throat> with a few drinks, I'll smash, you know what I mean? Like with the right, with the right goggles, I'll smash that. For sure, that was me, I styled that. It's a lot of Fashion Nova and whatnot. Like there's a corset, clear corset that I put over that to make it more dramatic. I'll smash it, yeah. Oh, that's a hard pass. Me and Brett both really are passing on that one as aggressively as possible. It's really nothing against the people who made it. It's more so my input that I made. I don't know why I said to contour the ass cheeks. It looks like I have like a hairy ass and we didn't really see that coming. That's the hairy ass pussy nipple moment that we did for AVN. Pass. Oh, that's a big smash. From the back, from the front, from the side. Absolutely love that one. It's like I was wearing leggings, really. It was a, just a bodysuit. The jacket was obviously a little, a little funny to work with, but it was fun. Oh, big smash. Big Tom Brown smash. My friends like to make fun of me for that dress, but they, I mean, they don't mean it. It's less of a dress, more of like a piece of art. I look like a worm. That's dope. I thought it would be really major. We wanted to do some pretty, pretty wacky, zany, fun, silly things that day. And this felt very iconic and very um, camp and dramatic and nice. Fucking Willy Wonka in the chicken factory. Hell yeah. Big smash. Oh God, I'm such a slut at this point. I'm <laughs> smashing everything. I thought this was a fantastic outfit. And just the shoes are fantastic. I don't know, I feel like I was channeling Pharrell in a funny way. I felt cool. It was fun and they're not, not too hard to walk in, believe it or not, those shoes. Oh, smash, for sure. Easy smash, love that one. That was um, Jingle Ball. I don't know why wh YB came out of the woodworks with like a genie look. It just felt right and I'm not sure. But yeah, I love that one smash from the back. Your dancing was all over TikTok in this outfit. How do you feel about your TikToks? I hate my TikToks. I don't like that. I mean, I maybe have like five that I really, really like, but every time I go back, I'm pretty embarrassed. I've yet to delete them all. It's something that I'm planning on doing. I have no process. I just kind of, I think of something bad and then I do it. Oh, smash for sure. Yes, that's It's Giving. That's our first collection. Yeah, I'd smash that. Absolutely. All night long from the back. Visit itsgiving.com and uh, buy my merch. I always wanted to make clothing, but I wanted to, you know, start simple and do some cute little things like that. I mean, it's really, it's a t-shirt and panties and then sweatpants and whatever, that whole thing. But I kind of want to keep expanding. So I have a new collection, but it's a holiday um, collection. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's almost done. This is my favorite carpet look of all time. This is the best one that I've ever done. This is Scaparelli. The things I would do to this one, God, smash, big smash. This is like one of the most sophisticated looks I've done and I, I just felt like a woman in that one. And also my boobs look good. So it's a good day. This is a big smash. This is one of my favorite looks of all time. Um, this is Victor and Rolf and I did New York Fashion Week in this. It's just a funny take and I, I put a little anarchy symbol on the back of my head and people are like, what's wrong with her? Like, what does it mean? It's just an anarchy symbol. Yeah, so this is a big smash for me. This is a personal smash. And then I wanted to do something that was very simple like that with really crazy makeup. It brought out features in my face that maybe a lot of people would, would hide if they had those things like my smile lines and these little things under my eyes and whatever. It just, you, it really accentuated every aspect of my face. And I loved that about this makeup. I felt the most beautiful in this look because I felt like me. And uh, yeah, people thought that I looked fugly. <laughs> oh, big ass smash. There's a war between this one and the Scaparelli. 
I can't choose between the two. The dress is hot, okay? The dress is hot, we love it. We didn't really know it was gonna come out to kind of this like Statue of Liberty adjacent vibe, but it did and I love it. And my family's from New York, so whatever, I'll give it that. Gorgeous, perfect look, head to toe. If I had to describe my Grammys 2023 look in one word, it would be brutalist. <laughs>